Hi there, uh, my name's Stephen Anstis. I'm farming at Waikerio Station, Central Hawke's Bay, midway between Waipakarau and Porongaho. 1,420 hectares here, about 12,500 stock units. Uh, a mixture of sheep, beef and deer, and primarily uh, breeding finishing operation. The decision to invest in a reticulated water system was driven from two different directions. One was that we wished to just move the operation from being a pure store lamb operation to one where we're attempting to at least finish all our own lambs. Uh, to do that, of course, you need good clean water and relying on dams that become somewhat murky in the middle of a hot, dry Hawke's Bay summer wasn't going to cut it. Uh, the second decision was based around the necessity to exclude stock from waterways. The council and central government edict that we should um, get our stock out of the creeks, etc., means that we had to um, get some water to areas that were otherwise reliant on those water sources. Uh, the stock water articulation system that we've set up here was basically formulated around 2020 when we had a very dry year here. I walked up the top of a hill and found this big bog and sunk up to my knees. Uh, we put a digger in there, we dug a hole and it filled up with good, clean, crystal clear water in the space of five days. From that starting position, that's where we uh, we've built the system from. It's included a solar pump and a, an additional uh, dam reservoir that uh, gives us a capacity now about uh, 3 million litres of water, which will hopefully suffice for us through a hot, dry Hawke's Bay summer. So from there on, I just approached the people that I think have got the nous to design and build a system for me. And from there on in, we have put in the best part of probably 10 kilometres of alkathene and about 40 troughs. It's very difficult to actually put a figure around the quantifiable benefit of it, other than the stock health. You can see that they're drinking out of the troughs rather than out of dams and on that basis alone, they must be doing better than what they would be if they were drinking out of some murky pond. I think the initial design was probably not as extensive as it ended up being, only in so much as um, we felt as if we were constrained by supply. Once we went back to the drawing board, and we extended the whole system a bit further again, gave it more capacity, i.e. more tanks, and that has meant that we've been able to reticulate water to more country and get good water to more stock as such. So don't be constrained by your own initial thinking. Seek good advice. In my case, I sought the advice of the rep from IPLEX, Pete, and his uh, knowledge about the design and construction of this water systems like that is second to none. The second good decision that I did make was to get uh, Glenn Hutchins in to build the thing for me. He and Sam came in here, worked tirelessly on the thing for about three or four weeks. They've built a system that has proven so far to be bulletproof. Nothing's leaked. And, um, and it's working hunky-dory, so I'm absolutely wrapped with it. The benefits of this reticulation scheme is means that now we are fully compliant with the edicts as issued by Hawke's Bay Regional Council, where we've excluded stock from waterways. The other benefit, of course, is probably slightly more intangible, that being that we are now able to put good, clean water in front of our stock, and it's very difficult to measure the growth benefits as such, but I'm sure there is some. Hi, my name is Jackie Anderson. I farm here in the district of Oiroa with my husband Wayne. We own a 225 hectare East Coast North Island Hill Country property, 20 kilometres east of Waipukarau. I mainly trade in bulls. I do trade in sheep as well, depending on the season. We're on a system that's called the Farm Road Water Scheme. It's a privately owned system and it is actually pumped from Waipukarau, which is, like I said, approximately 20 kilometres away. You buy shares in the Farm Road Water Scheme. It's now a closed system. Nobody can apply and get shares in it. It was formed in 1985 and was commissioned in 1987. So you buy the shares in it that go with the title of your property, and then you get an allocation of water per hectare and when we bought this farm 20 years ago, it had one holding tank and about three troughs. And my husband and I have invested heavily in more holding tanks and a reticulated system around the whole property. The initial capital we spent on the property was to put in another 30,000 litre holding tank. There was already, like I said, one on the property when we purchased it 20 years ago, but we put another connection on and that allowed us just a gravity fed system from both tanks to all areas of 
the entire farm. Well, benefits is better utilisation of the pasture because you could then subdivide. Therefore, you can graze and utilise your pasture better, uh, more kilos, get better returns on your stock. And having that water available on 31 degrees, east coast hill country, you'll often see the stock just at the water. They might not even be drinking it, but I think it's beautiful to have available for them. I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but I think we got it pretty well right. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> Possibly being hill country, we may have put another tank in. Maybe two tanks is not enough. It's only a small property, 225 hectares, but it's very hilly, very undulating. So um, if capital could have allowed, might have put in a third tank. But yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with the system. It's very, very good. I would advise if you were going to spend some capital infrastructure on water. If you have the opportunity for a gravity-based system, there may be pumps needed to get up to a tank system of some sort, but spend it. Put the water in first, subdivision can come later. As it relates to our farm, it's gold. A reticulated water system is literally gold. For other people in the area, it wasn't compulsory to sign up to it, but going to local farming discussion groups, which I'm part of, a lot of them say now, oh, we wish back in 1987 or 90s that so-and-so had signed up to the reticulated water scheme then because it is, it's invaluable. Water security is a huge issue. Returns from your livestock, well, that's great, uh, but you must have water. And once we put in a reticulated system, we could fence off the dams and do subdivision off there and now I believe they're called sediment traps, but plant them, retire them. So huge environmental benefits to not having stock um, in your waterways and bits and pieces. So very beneficial.